Welcome back everyone to the bunker. Today we're gonna to do a little security upgrade to the bunker because you can never be too safe, right? So I was sent an Onwote security camera system. It's the NVR kit, I think that's night vision. Comes with everything that you see here. They do have bigger kits too, but this is the one that they had sent me. Uh, it comes with the DVR, cameras, cables, power cords, mouse. We'll go over all that in a second, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to install this with a couple cameras outside and actually a couple cameras inside um, because then I can kind of test the night vision on it and stuff because they have lighting, all this stuff. It's a very inclusive system here. Uh, I would have done an actual unboxing of this thing, but when I did a preliminary unboxing to kind of go through everything, uh, my dog, who always eats cardboard boxes, decided he wanted to destroy the box um, that this arrived in. So now that we are unboxed, uh, we'll go over this real quick. This is the DVR, which I believe is a two terabyte system. I'll show you the back of that in a minute. Power cables and a mouse, because you plug the mouse in, you hook this up to your monitor, you get inside, get all your settings and everything done. Four night vision cameras. And these are all hardwired with Ethernet. So you get four 60 foot Ethernet cables. So the Ethernet powers the cameras and then reads everything back to the DVR for recording. And all of the all of the hardware you need to mount it. Uh, another Ethernet cable to hook up to your router so you can access this. This comes with a mobile app. I'll have all the links to all the stuff down below so you can you can see for yourself there. All right, so the cameras here, they're in a metal housing and I believe they come with brackets. You mount the bracket, then kind of like your smoke detectors in your house, you screw that on to the bracket. They seem very well built. I believe those are lights, so it's a security light. Um, I don't know how bright it is, but we're going to figure that out. You can move this, you know, it's kind of omnidirectional. Um, I do believe it's night vision plus the lights. Uh, these are 4K cameras, and it has AI detection for uh, like humans and automobiles and stuff like that. So when it detects the motion, I guess, is when it would start the recording. Uh, it has audio also. I forgot that. It does have audio also. So the connections, like I said, are just the Ethernet, but they come in, you hook this on to the Ethernet cable, screws on, and you can actually have it pretty well weatherproof. Although you've got about a foot of cord there that you could run into the building before you have to worry about the weatherproofing. But if you're running all these cables on the outside of the building, obviously you want some weatherproofing. So we get Four of those, like I said, with all the mounting hardware, 60-foot Ethernet cables. I believe these are just plain Ethernet cables. So if you had a camera, say, right next to the DVR box, you didn't want the full 60 feet, you could use your own smaller one. If you wanted something longer, which they do make longer because I have one ran from inside at my main modem all the way out here to the shop, uh, it's a pretty long cable. <laughs> so. If you needed to put the camera farther away, you could do that. But the kit comes with four 60-footers, so theoretically, if the DVR was in the middle of the building, you could be 60 feet in either direction. You could cover a 120-foot-long building. And this is all, this all comes standard with it. Okay, well, let me come around here for the DVR. Here's the DVR. Um, like I said, I think it is a two terabyte. You look on the back, we've got four ethernet ports. Um, you can have up to eight cameras on here. Here's the ethernet port, which I do believe goes to your router. USB 2.0, so you can plug the mouse in. And the mouse, like I said, when you hook it up to your monitor, that's how you get in and you you set all your settings with it. We'll do that in a little bit. Audio out, 
which I guess would probably run with VGA. So if you're running just a standard monitor, you could have audio out also, but it does have an HDMI. Um, so when I hook this up, that's what I'm gonna try to use if I can get the right configuration with the TV and, and stuff. I'm gonna try to use an old TV that I have out here in the shop, and we'll see if we can get that to work, and then the power. So here's your mainframe that everything goes into. This is the, this is the workhorse. Uh, and when we get everything hooked up, we'll get this thing running, and then we'll get into the internal aspects of the programming in this. Nice power cables. I mean, everything seems very, very well built. It even has support right on the box. Onwote.com. All right, first and foremost, it does come with a warranty and support. Um, offer half hour to two hours of tech support. So you can call them if you need help setting this up or whatever. Uh, one year warranty. And then things it does not cover, if you crash this thing on your own, uh, you know, over and above normal use type stuff. But there's your warranty card that comes with it. Here's the quick user guide, table of contents. Uh, I did thumb through this. This is mostly setup of the DVR. Which to me means these cameras are going to be pretty straightforward setting up. And this is the part I'm concerned about, but it should go pretty easily, even though I'm not terribly tech savvy. So now that we've kind of gone through all of this stuff, uh, nothing left to do but to start installing cameras and getting this thing hooked up. So let's get to it. Okay, luckily I have these light blocks on the outside of the house that I've never actually hooked lights up to. So I'm going to mount the cameras on these two outside light blocks. Um, hopefully those uh, wasp nests are dormant. 7 8 bit I think should be big enough to fit all the cabling through. So I'm going to go just straight through the back. Uh, where the electrical box is going to end up going, well, if I ever put lights in. Okay. Now I can get the wires through. I think what I'm gonna do, they're gonna get mounted vertically as opposed to horizontally, but I think I have enough play in them uh, with the range of motion to be able to adjust for that. Just gonna run this in with some drywall screws because they seem to work the best. It's only hung on two screws, but these things are very lightweight. I wanted the access to the hole, and then I will uh, silicone it so I don't have critters getting inside. go. It's looking out that way. It's on there nice and solid. Easy enough. Let's go do the other one.
There we go. All set. Obviously, your setup will probably be different than mine. Look at this guy relaxing. Must be nice. And really, it can't get much simpler for the actual installation. Um, but we're going to have to run cables. This one will go up into the attic and run that way. I think that's where I'm going to have the DVR. I think that's what I wanted right there. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. Since my router sits right here, I thought this was a pretty centralized place. So I did bring all my wires, all my ethernet cables through the attic. I spared you that video because you're just going to see me crawling through my attic. Um, so everything's here. All the cameras are hooked up. And now we're going to hook up the DVR, get it hooked up to the TV, and see what we get. So we have to the router. Simple enough. And we're just going to go with these top ones here. So we're going to go two. Four. Six. Eight. A little extra right there. But we'll get that out of the way later. Um, okay, we'll hook up the HDMI to the TV. Uh, we'll get the mouse plugged in, get power going to this thing, and see exactly how long it takes to fire up and what it does when it fires up. Power. There's the moose. HDMI. A lot of you are probably yelling at me to not to put that on top of there, but right now space is at a premium in here. So that's how we're gonna do it for the moment. Let's see if we can walk our way through this without even having to look at the book. All right, English. Please enter a password. Hey, well, there I am. Um, but there must be a generic one that we have to put in first. 
No. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Enter. Log in. Enhanced password mode. Hashtag. Yes. Exclamation point. I got to write that down. Confirm. My D I Y two hashtag. Yes. Exclamation point. There you go. Now you guys all know my password. That's terrible. Yeah, we're gonna skip that. Uh, London date format. Okay, so let's go with oh. uh, we're Eastern. And we're we're Americans, so we're going to do that the right way. Are we supposed to? Hmm. Time format, 24 hours, that's fine. System time, 11 4. I guess that's probably right. Uh, we're going to enable daylight savings time. Okay, we're just going to go to next. We'll adjust that later. IP address. Now I'm giving you all my IP address, so we're going to have to uh, block all that out. Scan the QR code to download and install the app. And we'll do that in a bit. All right, there I am. There's the other one. We're obviously going to have to adjust these a little bit. And I feared this. The uh, 3 o'clock and the 6 o'clock here are upside down. Hey. All right, let's... Uh, I'm going to leave you guys here. We're going to go to this one. And I'm going to try to adjust this. And you get to see what it looks like. All right, I think I like that. There we go. Okay, I'm going to leave it on, and I'm going to turn off the lights inside here and see, see what we get.
Well, that one spotted me. That one spotted me. There's no lights on in here besides the besides these cameras and the TV, but so these two are functioning just from the lights from the cameras. Okay, so the one in the other corner has gone off and switched to night vision, so it's using the light from the other camera to see. Now they're both in night vision. That's darn impressive. There, now, I just motion triggered that one back on. You can see the red box is uh, detecting me. Okay. All right, upon further review, you just have to spin the camera within the housing. Let me show you. So proper orientation is with the lights on the bottom. So when the lights are on the top, the picture was inverse or inverted. And now with the lights down, it's right. And that, that will spin a full 360 in there. So I had no idea it would do that. Luckily, my wife uh, works for a police department and does security cameras. So she told me, spin the stupid thing, you idiot. OK. We're going to stay right here. I've got the microphone turned off because my phone will interfere with it. And I don't want that happening. So what we are going to do is scan this. Let's see what we got going here. Okay, you scan that and it takes you to the app. Let's hit get. Install. There you go, service agreement. Okay, now it seems to me that the company has access um, to the videos. But moving on. Um, oh, I got to sign up. Enter email address. The code has been sent to your email. Verification code. It went to junk mail, so be aware of that. You got to enter your password. Start live view. There we go. There, that's before I fixed the camera. I was recording the dog walking around out by the trailer. Go back to live view, and there is the trailer outside now because I've got the camera actually working properly. Um, there. It's not maybe the most intuitive app, but it only took me a couple minutes to get into it. Let's see if we can zoom in here. There we go. Yeah. Okay. So, all right, now we got the app working. I have to mess with that a little bit. Oh, turn the audio on. Oh, 
<laughs> we just <laughs> we just went down a rabbit hole of reverb there. Um, but the audio works pretty good. And uh, now, let's see, we're set up. We're configured on the DVR. We've even got the app working. We're gonna wait till nighttime. We're gonna see how the AI and maybe the vehicle detection works outside. I don't really have vehicles moving in front of the cameras, um, but we'll see how that works. But I really wanna see how the uh, night vision works and then we'll, we'll check it again in here. So we're gonna wait till nighttime and then we're gonna try these outside cameras out. All right, night has fallen. We're gonna try to sneak into the shop here. Quietly. Busted. Can we get past the other one? Oh, busted. So they work pretty well. The lights illuminate pretty well. Actually, when you look at it, it kind of blinds you. So if some idiot's trying to sneak up and then uh, the light kicks on and they look at it, they'll be hurting for a minute. Um, Let's go inside and see what it looked like. Let me come in here in the dark too. Got that light. Got that one. All right, you can see on the bottom one and the right one, um, I believe that's just the IR lights that are going right now. Inside, we've got the lights from the camera. Well, no, we went to IR on that one. The one on the left, I'm still here. Oh, that just switched to IR also. So the motion detection works, works pretty well and uh, the IR and the lights coming on with the motion. Maybe. There we go. Go back out one more time. I probably need to adjust those cameras a little bit more, get the field of view a little better. Um, but right now, just wanted to get these hooked up, a little demo video. Now, let's head inside and talk about what I think of this. All right, the Envote security camera system, the NVR. Uh, still haven't figured out what that stands for. Night vision, I'm assuming. Night vision recording. That's what we're going to go with, night vision recording. I don't know. They sent me this system and wanted me to set it up and make a demonstration video, which this was, and give you guys all the links in case you're interested in this. I put all that stuff down below on woke.com. Again, I'll put all that stuff down in the description so you guys can go check that out there. I really kind of like it. It's 4K um, with the DVR and everything. With that app, you can look at the cameras from anywhere in the world, I guess. Um, Man, I don't know what else to say about it. You saw it, it was pretty easy hookup. It is wired instead of wireless cameras, but I don't think you would have the issue of losing reception. I'm sure wireless cameras cut out occasionally. This is all hardwired, so as long as you got power to that DVR, you're all set. 
The infrared is nice, um, and the, when the lights come on, it makes it really nice. I did notice, I don't know if there was video in there, it does ghost a little when it's in IR mode or when it's running off of those lights. Um, but it would be good enough to, you know, get pictures of, of somebody. And when you have the good lighting, like inside right now or outside during the day, I didn't see any problem with the uh, video recording at that point. So. That's about it. If anything boils up with this, any issues or any problems or anything, I'll make another video down the line. But for now, uh, head to onwote.com or follow all the links down in the description. And I guess, guys, we will see you on the next video.